The Thunder Nation Cup is a tournament that engages New South Wales cricket players from non-English speaking and Indigenous backgrounds. From that tournament, the finest players were chosen to try out for a shot at the big time. A contract with the Sydney Thunder for the 2014-15 season. We've identified about 20 players from uh, different cultural backgrounds, uh, everything from Aboriginal all the way through to Bangladesh and Afghani. Oh, my parents moved from South Africa about 30 years ago just to, I guess, have a better life over here. My dad, he, um, he went to Indonesia by plane, obviously, and then um, he came by boat to Australia. He was rescued by the navies halfway through his journey um, in the sea. The boat almost drowned and he saw a lot of people drowning. Represent the um, Indian community as a whole. They represent a large portion of Sydney's population, so it's good that they have a bit of a representative, like an ambassador here at the tryouts today. Oh, I think, I mean, it speaks for itself, a contract at the Sydney Thunder. I mean, it will be a great opportunity. It's very good. I think like it's my dream come true. Yeah, it would mean the world to me. Um, I couldn't really describe what it words means a lot and I don't know how I can explain it so my mom just woke me up this morning she said I couldn't sleep the whole night you know thinking about it I said it's all right mom whatever it's it's there it's written there for us in the will so that's what's going to happen. The selections will be decided over four phases one fielding stage then two net sessions which will see the field whittle down to the final four that four will then be interviewed by Sydney Thunder general manager Nick Cummins and the governor of the Thunder Nation Mark Wall, who will have the final say on the winner. Yeah, I reckon it's a great concept by the Thunder. Um, it gives um, cricketers who don't have the access through the normal pathways to, to maybe make it to Shield cricket or club cricket. Um, it supports the local communities, guys in the local community. And hopefully, um, you know, there might be a rookie player come through that uh, might play for the Thunder one day. You actually become part of the team, so you get your own locker, uh, you get a, a shirt, you actually have a spot on the list, so you train with the team, you travel with the team, you're, uh, you're, in, you're in the dugout, and if you're good enough, potentially you could be promoted to the main list and actually play a BBL game. One in 11 people in Australia are, are from Western Sydney. We take the view that Western Sydney is a very diverse region and there are people from all different cultural groups, so we're really trying to put a stake in the ground and, and make them feel that uh, Sydney Thunder is their team. There's nowhere to hide in 2020 cricket. It's essential you're proficient in all disciplines of the game. In the fielding stage, a couple of the lads take the opportunity to make an early statement. Next up, the boys hit the nets with the sun and competition synchronising by both heating up considerably. All the lads show promise, so it's a tough task for the Brains Trust to halve the field to the final eight. So the following players have made it through to the next round. Uh, Sahipreet Singh, Nabin Gurung, Yogi Chawla, Sulfikar Salahuddin, Darren Jaya Sahira, Hamid Kirka, Samil Chiba, and Scott Copperfield. So congratulations to those guys who've got through to the last eight. And uh, also thanks very much to those guys who've missed out. The boys that failed to make the cut are given the opportunity to receive some personal insight from veteran New South Wales selector and state talent manager David Friedman. I think probably a little bit loose outside or stump, I thought. Um, yeah, just the shot selection a little bit, working out what balls to play. I like your bowling, I like your bowling's got some talent. The final eight then release the shackles. They have just 20 minutes to stake their claim for a life-changing contract with the Sydney Thunder. After a torrid final session, the tough decisions are made and the final four emerge from the pack. So if I call your name, step forward, that means you're through to the next round. So, uh, Darren Jaya Sahira. And Darren. Uh, Hamid Kirka. 
Samil Chiba. And the final one is Scott Copperfield. Now the final four face a grilling from Thunder General Manager Nick Cummins and the Governor of the Thunder Nation, Mark War. They need to impress. This interview could be the difference between heartbreak and a shot at the big time. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Mark, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Uh, we had brothers, three sisters. Well, yeah. that's a cricket team plus a 12th. That's correct. 12th <laughs> man as well. So what, what were your injury problems? Disappointing, stress structures. In back. Uh, the ribs. All oh, right, there yeah. you go. Definitely working on my shape right now, so yeah. that's, a good, that's a big that's thing. That's the in word, isn't it? Shape. Shape, yeah. yeah. Hold your shape. It's yeah. a big word. <laughs> I just got a few 50s last year, so... What I, um, number are you back? About seven and eight, so... It's pretty good. It's, it's just... It's All-rounder. So what would it mean for you to be their community rookie? Oh, I mean... It would mean the world, I guess, playing for Sydney Thunder. Going to get no, that yeah. exposure with all the, I mean, especially international players as well, Mike Hussey yeah. as well, even Pat Cummins coming through yeah. as well. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, playing along, playing along those guys, mm. I mean, speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And the thing with the Indian, they think that the ethnicity could be a bit of a hindrance, like yeah. it could be an obstacle, but seeing me out there, then Gurinda as well, so... They're really picking it up now, so. I watched Usman Khawaja a lot. Yeah. You know, I thought to myself, if he can play for Australia, you know, like, mm. I can do something. You know? mm. There was always negative points people were giving me. I mean, you got no chance to play. Anyway, even forget about great cricket, first grade. I said, man, nah, you know, I've got two kids. I said, nah, you know, if, I don't, if I don't play anywhere else, at least in second grade, my mm. kids can, can look up on me and I can tell them, look, I played second grade, you know? Yeah. It's, you know, just give it a go. Don't give up. Don't give up. Good attitude, yeah. So, that's the, you know, that's why I'm here. And we also do community work, so it's about going back into your community and, and talking about thunder and cricket and basically encouraging kids particularly yeah. to follow your footsteps. Are you, are you prepared to do that? Of course. Yeah. We'll make a call in the next uh, five minutes or thereabouts and yeah, we'll see how we go. Come down. Bye Thank bye. you. So without uh, further ado, I'll hand over to uh, the Governor of the Thunder Nation, Mark War, who will announce uh, the, the community rookie for BBL 04. Mark. Thanks, Nick. Uh, get the drum roll out. Gives me great pleasure to present the BBL rookie contract for the Sydney Thunder to Hamid Kirkar. Yeah! Well done, mate. Good stuff. Very good. Uh, it's emotions all over. I mean, to achieve this, it's, it's not that easy. It's unbelievable. I mean, I've got no words to explain it. I think in the end, we, we had four players who were around about the same standard. So what we did, it is a community rookie contract, so it's much bigger than just being a good player. Um, Hamid's very active in his community and uh, has been a great leader in the Afghani community in, in Western Sydney, and we felt that he would be able to do quite a lot with that contract. I think that he would be able to set a, a great example and, and really allow us to break into the Afghani cricket community and, and inspire a whole generation of kids. I mean, Scott was an absolute standout, and I, I think it was probably between Scott and Hamid, to be honest. Um, but uh, consequently, uh, there can only be one winner, but in this instance, we've uh, upgraded him to a, a supplementary list spot. Um, it means if players get injured or they're away for Australian duties, that there's a chance for me to step up onto the, the full roster. Great to see Hamid Kirka um, awarded the rookie contract. He's, he's so, so keen and excited. Um, he bowls very good off spin. He's, you know, he plays first grade cricket, so I'm sure he's looking forward to it. You think your family will be um, exceptionally proud of you? Oh, definitely. I can't wait just to call my mum. Yeah, I miss her. She's Hello, crying, but she'll try to talk. Are they asking cook? Sing it, Oh, 